Welcome to this Windows and Computer channel, and this is a, uh, another video to explain what could go wrong, what could prevent your computers from actually having a successful upgrade to Windows updates or to uh, even um, a new version of Windows 10. Maybe you're not seeing them and you're wondering why. Well, another thing that is often overlooked is software installed. Now, if you're the kind of person that doesn't really download much software except the most basic, one of the things that a lot of manufacturers unfortunately do, and this, I always say it, should stop, a lot of manufacturers put crapware or unwanted software on the new computer you're using not just its own software that is often very useless, but also sometimes third-party software from manufacturers that pay to have trial versions of whatever on your computer. What I would suggest is if you have a new PC, go through the list of software. And if you don't know what it is, learn what it is and check out do you really need that. Even better, I do clean install of my new PCs. When I got this Acer Nitro 5, it came with tons of all sorts of assistance and programs that I just didn't want. So I did a clean install. I completely reinstalled Windows from scratch. The only thing I kept because I wanted, because it is useful, is the NitroSense software that controls fans and controls the uh, graphics adapter. But for the rest, I didn't reinstall anything because it was pretty much useless to have it. So simply go into your settings. In your settings, go to apps. And in the apps, you will, of course, have all the list of apps and features installed. So what you could do here is once the list has been loaded and everything has been um, checked out for you, what you do is simply check out what do you need here that you might not want to have on your computer. And of course, if you don't know what it is, you can go on the internet, do a little Google search, say, oh, what's that, you know? And anything that you don't need, well, you just click on it and click the uninstall button. And this will actually um, uninstall the software from your PC. So here we go. I don't use Fresh Paint. Why should I have this on my PC? So go through everything that you don't need and uninstall it. You'll be surprised at some blockers from some of the software. And often the ones that come from the manufacturer or even the trial versions, they don't update. So they can stay kind of old and they can cause all sorts of problems, all sorts of crashes over time. So go through the list and do remove everything that you don't need from your PC. You'll be surprised at the number of software that you might actually be able to remove. One of the things to do also is to remove them once at a time and make sure that everything is all right if you do. The other side of things is um, not to install too many software also as time goes by. Uh, some people have a tendency to click and download everything they see to try to tweak and uh, have their PC running smoothly. Honestly, to have your PC running smoothly, it's not to download software that are promising to help you out with this. It's just to leave your PC alone and not install tons of programs. That's always a big problem. A lot of software can create problems. Over time, as a tech guy, so many times, so many times I've seen people that actually had too many software that would interact together, create blue screens, create problems. Sometimes the problems appear in the future and you realize, oh, it's because you've got this old software here, it interacts with that new software here. And just like taking you know, too many medication that have interactions together, computer crashes or has problems or slows down terribly. So this is very important to check out everything you have if you have a new PC, it is worth it to remove some of the software. And if you do have a new PC, resist the temptation to install assistance of all sorts. They're useless for the most part, and they'll just slow down your PC. And they, you know, usually have uh, give you more risk of having blue screens problems, slowdowns, and 
even preventing your PC from successfully upgrading to a new version of Windows or getting Windows updates. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us a thumbs up. Thank you for watching.